Officials say that everyone needs to take this poor air quality seriously, including residents and city workers. You need to limit your time outdoors. And I noticed uh, today and yesterday that the air has been kind of thicker, kind of foggy and misty, and I didn't really know what was going on. Brooks Radcliffe says he runs every morning. He says when he looked up at the hazy sky, he knew something was wrong. And he's not alone. With poor air quality, officials want to limit outdoor activities. The minute we walked out, we heard this, we smelled the smoke, and it was a little concerning. I said we're just going to stay out for a half an hour instead of our normal hour. But one of the little kids is parents is a doctor, so they said that as long as there's no lung issues previously, then we should be fine. Lumen Christie Catholic School teacher Karis Roller says to avoid the toxic air, her kids are spending the majority of time indoors. Yeah, one of my little kids already had a cough, so he's like, oh, I don't know if I should be out here. And I'm like, it'll be okay. We're not going to stay out long. Today, Indy Parks and Rec decided to close all outdoor pools and cancel most outdoor activities, including day camps at Eagle Creek Park and Southeast Park until further notice. I also spoke with NDOT officials today who say they are advising its outdoor workers to wear an N95 mask and take multiple indoor breaks throughout the day. If they're wanting to go get masks, they can also get that at any in-depth facility as well. Um, and those are those are definitely recommended. Um, before any of our crews go out, um, we have a safety debriefing and everyone's debriefed on um, uh, air quality today. Indy Parks has also canceled all summer concert series events for tonight. For updated hours and locations, you can go to parks.indy.gov. And Indianapolis, Levi Harvey, CBS4 News.